We are so grateful for your support, so grateful for your love, and that support and love has allowed us to have a tremendous year. In 2019, we have seen the opening of the Soul Hope Hope Center. It has helped them double their staff, their reach, and their impact. We've seen the launch of the Healing Faith Mobile Unit, in which they tested over 8,000 individuals, seeing a range between 60 to 90% positive test rates of malaria. We've seen the D. Gary Young Leadership Endowment kickstarted. We are supporting the 2019 class and raising the money to be able to support the 2020 class and many from the first three graduation classes. We've also seen the completion of many schools in Nepal. All of these things were reported to you at the International Grand Convention and since then that work has continued. We visited here in Uganda, during which Mary Young saw firsthand the work of the foundation and our partners. In that trip, we also opened Mary Lighthouse, the fourth lighthouse here in Uganda for Hope for Justice. We've also seen the groundbreaking of Malaria Center 2. We've seen Soul Hope begin to put their plans together for their 2020 growth and reach. One of the projects that we're extremely excited to report to you about is also the completion of the Women's Co-op in Nepal, to which 2,500 women in the surrounding area receive training, access to microloans, savings, and generational change. In addition to finishing the women's co-op in Nepal, we have also completed the rebuild of the school near the Pili Pili farm in the Philippines. We also helped enhance their garden so their education was safer and healthier. And we've been able to announce our community give back program as we opened the South African market. Please check out the Young Living Foundation website to learn all about what that community engagement project is.